if technology is so advanced now, then why are robots not used in wars instead of humans? So do you know what a self-guided missile is? What is an anti-aircraft missile? It's a missile that autonomously targets its target, that autonomously follows the aircraft that it's targeting and detonates itself near the aircraft, thereby destroying the aircraft. So it has an intelligence and a seeking system and a guidance system of its own. That is the definition of a robot. So a, an anti-aircraft missile is a robot. All these projectiles that we use in warfare, whether they are ballistic missiles or torpedoes, they are essentially robots. They are not very intelligent. Even though now we're going to have shells that have that have uh, that have GPS embedded, so they'll be able to change the direction in mid-flight. So we are using robotics in warfare. In the recent conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan, you had these loitering drones that would loiter around the battlefield for for a couple of hours, and then eventually decide autonomously when and which when to target the enemy and which possible which uh, vehicle or which uh, asset of the enemy to target so this is intelligence and this is robotics so we are already using robotics and robots in warfare it's just that they are not humanoid robots these are robots that are not shaped like human beings but these are robots nonetheless so artificial intelligence and robotics are very much at the core of the military, of the future of military and the future of warfare. That's why militaries are investing so much in it. Usually when a new technology develops anywhere, it's the military and the government that always gets first use of it. So, so our AI and robotics are no different. They are being developed extensively by various militaries, especially in the United States, in China, and also in Russia. So yes, military, I mean, robotics is already being used in warfare and it's going to be increasingly um, more at the center stage in warfare. So eventually you're going to have, you're going to have uh, self driving planes, planes that don't have any human occupant. They're going to fly on their own. They're going to carry out their missions on their own and they may either come back or, or destroy themselves at the end of the mission. And the same goes for drones. Drone swarms are very much the future of, of warfare and much more. So robots are already being used in warfare. And eventually, I think most of warfare will be done by robots.